subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! So guys, we are back to heavy lifting. Lifting big heavy weights. I'm here myself, Luke's having a re-rest day today. My press is not as strong as it is, so I'm coming in. We're gonna be doing some push press and we're gonna be getting spicy, right? Thank you guys, please. Love you. I'm stretching away. Right, you laughing at? Dan gives me some mobility stuff, but um, today I'm just gonna get my shoulders nice and loose, my pecs stretched out, everything stretched out so I can get into that position much better. Um, when you've got good mobility, you can get down here instead of having the bars here. So I'm just gonna do some of these stretches, lean forward so there's a nice stretch in the pec, and then same with the other side. This way, keep them shoulders healthy. I'm keeping push press in just to kind of help me with the barbell press. I mean, it builds your shoulders overall. Um, as you guys seen, world strongest man, thankfully only has a medley in the qualifier and we can really concentrate on getting a big log in the final. So we don't have to separately work dumbbell, separately work barbell, but we're keeping push press in because this is helping me with log and with axle and with the barbell clean. So I'm going to keep this in for another few weeks and get absolutely mad with it. That's one time just done. Felt quite comfy. Um, what I meant to plan today is free freeze. So my first freeze meant to be 160, but if it feels heavy or it feels easier, then I can increase the weight. So I think I might, you know, I'm gonna go up to 150 for a warm up and see how it feels. If that feels really easy, I might even just go 170 for free, 180 for free, 190 for free, but we'll soon find out. But once the warm ups are over, I'll get a good idea. So we haven't seen you train solo in a while. Do you miss Luke already? Mate, I'm missing his farts. His gurniness, I'm too hyper. Missing just everything about him. But I'll do this for him. Does it feel any different training alone than training with Luke? No, because, you know, it just means for pressing it's a bit easier because now I can have it at my own height and not having to put it up and down. So at the end of the day, you can't always, if you can only train, with that same person and can't train by yourself or other people, you're never gonna be able to get strong. Well, strong as man, you're alone anyway, so it's just, it means I can take my time and do my own stuff as well, so I don't mind it either way, you know, but you do miss him, don't you, Simon? Warm up's done, so we're gonna start with 160 for free today, see how that feels, and then after that set, we'll judge if we're gonna do bigger jumps or just up in 10K jumps. Just do 170, 180 for freeze. Felt good. 180 is the heaviest I've been um, this year, so onwards and upwards we go. Now we're on to dumbbell, one arm dumbbell. So, guys, that's uh, push press done. Now we're on to dumbbell. Uh, I've got to do some working sets at 100k, but firstly, we're going to get 80k done for a few singles. This event's in World Strawless Man, so obviously, I have to get this nailed. So 
the 80 felt good. Now we're on to the dreaded 100k dumbbell. Dumbbells done, very frustrating, I just couldn't, one of them days I just couldn't get the pop right, um, push press was heavy today so you know I've not been that heavy before a dumbbell session, obviously my dumbbell is one of my weakest events, I'm trying to get that nailed, just wasn't there today, 100k felt really uncomfortable, as you've seen in the reps I just couldn't really get kind of ear to head thing in a triangle shape so it's just something to work on, I'll keep on it improving, um, it'll be fine next week. I just think it's a bit of fatigue, obviously trying to train myself and not having Luke doing those buzzwords like, you know, like be aggressive and stuff. So it'll, uh, it's just one of them things. Onwards we go to accessory work. This is the second session back since deload last week. Uh, yesterday was back and that destroyed me. Uh, today destroyed me as well. Like I said, I trained solo, so a bit different. You know, I've been training with Luke for a while. Sometimes you have bad sessions. I didn't have a, well, I had a great push press. Dumbbell was a bit off today, but we'll fix that next week and the week after. But from now till world, it's showtime. Everything's gonna be getting nailed. I feel great, you know, physically and mentally. You know, feel obviously fatigued all the time, but that's why we do the recovery. So, as long as my recovery's better than everybody else's, I believe that I will be the next king of the world. So, guys, please follow us on our journey to greatness. Well, Strong's man's going to be good. I mean, the thing I like about it is that the qualifiers is harder than the final this year. You know, I thought finger fingers were going to be in the final, along with uh, front hold and stuff. So, to have none of that in the final is quite a big bonus for myself you know obviously last man standing stone i've got that if i need it so then and then the final is really good you know deadlift keg toss i won last year stones loading and in the frame loading in the frame and the uh, turntable you know so really good events to me the good thing about this dumbbell thing and all them other ones is it's in a medley so it's not really i don't need to rep it so i just need to get one good solid rep you know, I'm just going to keep working on it. You know, like I said, I'm trying to work when I'm fatigued and not at 100%, you know, which I've not felt 100% yet and I'm still getting work done. So, you know, in the next few weeks, once everything, you know, gets, get, once I get closer to worlds, I'll be feeling better. But like I said, the event's really good for myself and Luke. So the way it's going right now is we just have to get past the qualifier. Once we get past that, I think we've got a great shot for World Strollers Man 2021. Thank you guys. Is there anything you're looking most forward to? The thing I'm looking forward to the most, obviously, is seeing everyone, but I think the keg toss in the final, I'm very confident in myself. I beat Brian like last year at it, and you know, that was I didn't train it. That was my first kind of proper time doing a keg. And uh, with my explosiveness, and I think if I have to, I could you know, just keep on doing a few inches more than him or a few centimeters more than him. And I'm really, really looking forward to getting a world record in that. And also log press. My log's going very good right now, um, and I'm glad that's in the final. I'm glad that's in the final, and not like dumbbell or barbell press and stuff. I'm glad they're in the qualifier so that I can get that out of the way. So that and log, and if I get to the final, it will be a very good uh, uh, fence to do. And then the qualifiers, I mean, the pickaxe front hold will be cool. Finger fingers will be cool. Some new events, you know, that are going to look good for the TV as well. So I'm very excited. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for all the subscriptions, the comments and the likes. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy.